Black Lager Brady, I was missing a carafe too, so topped up with black malt. I hope it's not a mistake because it is black to say the least. So hopefully we still get a nice delicateness just with the colour. We'll see. It might be wrong, but however. Uh, I won't bother with the rest of the Brady footage, guys. You know how it goes. It's alright. Meant to actually say what's in this. Uh, we've got 7 kilos Pilsner malt. Uh, we've got half a kilo Melanoidin malt. Half a kilo Carafa 3. Uh, half a kilo of Black malt. No, half a kilo of Carafa 2. Subbed another 300 grams of uh, black malt and 200 grams of chocolate malt in for that mistake. Uh, half a kilo of Cara Munich and half a kilo of chocolate malt. Then for the hops, we've got 40 grams of Chinook, 100 grams of Halator Mittel Fru, and uh, for the yeast, we're going in on a WLP 830. That was a German lager yeast, I couldn't remember. Um, so, yeah, let's see how it turns out. I'll uh, Maybe come back to you and we'll see what's more G meant to be on this. 10.52. Mm. Now I've adjusted in the calculator here for my pot size because this was an original just stove top one and I adjusted it. Put the efficiency up to 80%. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Right. Cheers guys. Just, just thought I would show you the frost on the bottle. It shows you an example of how much gas it's actually using whenever it's freezing, converting from liquid to gas. Madness. And that's my top up done. So yeah, it's going to be as close to, I think generally I can get about 48 litres maximum. So let's see how we go. What is this I'm seeing? Am I actually seeing a, oh come on back. A 10.55. Close enough for me guys. Happy days. Good evening gentlemen. Ah, how are we all today? <sighs> now, sitting down. Just had a pint there, got myself all organised, topped up. Uh, you see me brewing the black lager. On the yeast cake, and that went off like a rocket. So topped up the the water and the uh, the bubblers, and just coming to the end of uh, what is it, Chinook IPA that I've done. Surprisingly nice, actually. It's going down very, very well. Too well. But what do we have? Styrian Wolf IPA from Big Banana. This man knows how to bottle. It's there. I do not know how you do it, Big B. <laughs> Impressive. Certainly not short on the measures. Here, while I'm at it, how did my black uh, rye IPA come out? I bottled that off the keg. And I kid you not, I handed over bottles. I think we're only filled up to there because it foamed up. You just can't, uh, without a bottling one, I've only got a growler filler. No hiss. Uh, I dare say it would have been a bit flat. I know this, but there is, uh, there is carbonation in it. We can go reasonably aggressive here. And believe it or not, for it coming off the keg, there's sediment in it. Now, that's what we're looking at there. Not clear. Looks like it's really light in colour. Looks like a Pilsner malt. Now, I'm not familiar with Sterry and Wolf. So, let's. Sorry. That's better. My sinking chair. Let's get a nose on it. And a wee taste. Carbonation's very, very light. I'll say that that might be from the bottling more than anything. Unfortunately, I don't have a vi sorry bottling one thing that big banana sticks in it to make it come to life, but there is carbonation there. Very clean. It's 
super clean. Maybe the Chinook IPA that I had before this wasn't the wisest because I'm not picking much up. It's almost like a very, very clean lager. Maybe this isn't an IPA. Maybe that's what it is. I'll tell you what, it's clearing my palate bloody nicely from the last one. Okay. Ooh, that big bee has pushed into a bottle. <sighs> nah, I'd say that his pig has probably got more head than that. Sorry, big bee. I'd say from its travels, it might have uh, escaped from the top of the bottle. A wee bit. It's a lovely dry, very dry, very clean finish. And I know that Banana says that his overnight mashes dries out the beer really, really well. And I do like a dry beer, I must admit. And I can never, it always seems to be my nemesis, I can never really get it. Um, how did the brew day go? I was lacking the carafe too, as Pera said. <laughs> and went in with too much black malt. It, yeah, messed up brew day. It's a good wee recipe that, that I've got, um, but yeah, no, I think I messed it up. But here, time will tell. It's bubbling away. It's doing its thing. It'll be beer at the end of the day. It's a sensible ABV. We'll see. We'll see how we go. Um, yeah, not my finest there, but do you know what? It's not for comps or anything else. It's not something I'm developing. So. I'll maybe put a, a round two on at some point. But while the cold weather's here, obviously I've got no temperature control. I am trying to absolutely hammer out pilsners, laggers, black laggers, all of the, the low temp stuff. Because um, the more I, obviously, inevitably some of it will be drunk. But what I really want to do is keep some of it for July, August, September, the good weather time, you know, it's whenever you're out breaking your back, kind of cutting the grass. Um, so just to get a bit of age on it. Um, back to this here. Banana, very, very nice beer. It's amazing actually what's left in the bottom of a bottle. Can't even see through that. It's but even off the keg. It's once the bottle's been sat for a wee while, it does clear out. <sighs> Good sessionable beer. Clean, crisp. No complaints. Am I getting the Syrian Wolf? I probably am. But I would say the drink I had before it has ruined my... Uh, my taste buds. So my apologies, Banana, that's my fault. I should have came up here, opened this up and done a video first of all. I know I'm not doing it justice. But uh, cheers guys. Thanks for watching and uh, sure I will catch up with you all soon. Cheers. See ya.